I am the best Reaper player to ever exist. Don't look at the law. And if you want to learn a thing or two about this dog shit class, then you've come to the wrong place. But bear witness to the objectively best experience you're ever going to experience. Allegedly. I, I think. Reaper is a class that should be given to players early on in the game. It's the easiest melee job and comparing it to every other job in the roster, it goes head to head against Summoner for the easiest DPS job title. But we all know Summoner takes the cake for that because of positionals. If you have two notes, why would that be an issue? Shut your fucking mouth. But now you might be asking. What makes Reaper unique compared to the other melee jobs available? You get them so late into the game that you already understand how to play Dragoon, Monk, Ninja, or even Samurai. And the only thing I can say is, you look cool while doing it. Hey, you all right? Okay, let's move on. Reapers are one of the most fun jobs to play because of how smooth they can actually be. They don't have to worry about positionals as much, they don't require a perfect rotation for stronger combos, they are not as complex to learn, and they don't need chitin. The only complexity they have is keeping death's design up, and to be honest, I can't remember the last time my heart broke because I can't keep track of this god-awful debuff you- Anyways, the fun part about getting a class that is already leveled past level 1 is that you are bombarded with a bukkake of abilities. A time where we are forced to read our damned abilities. Since when? While some jobs either give you a handful portion of abilities or take it step by step, Reaper and Sage have oh other plans in mind. Tell me, how many abilities must I learn right off the bat? Holy f- Reaper is an edgy class, and because it is, its gauges are referenced to souls-like games. You got your soul gauge, which is the red bar, and the shroud gauge, which is the blue one. All you need to know is that you gain points on the red bar by whacking your target with your gardening tool, and you fill up your blue bar by... You use these spells. Would it not have been easier if you just showed us that? Well, yes, but it's cooler. Also, why isn't your mouth moving? I don't know. We didn't have the budget. <laughs> All right, I think we've dilly-dallied enough for now. It's time to talk about how to play the class in a very quick succession. You got your one, two, threes. This is your bread and butter till you get your red bar to 50. Use Bloodstock, but before using that, weave it into one of your available one, two, threes, or use Shadow of Death to reset Death's design when needed. Then you can use your available positionals, Gibbet or Gallo. Using Gibbet and Gallows will give you 10 points on your Shroud Gauge. You got Soul Slice. This will get your red bar to 50 instantly. Use it on cooldown. You have two charges of that shit. Harp is your ranged attack, and it needs to be channeled, so you can use it at the two second mark before the pull. Reaper is a mobile job. You got ingress and egress. Ingress is dashing forward. Egress is dashing backwards. Whichever one you use will change the other to regress, which allows you to zip back to where you initially dashed. Harp can be casted instantly after using one of the dashes. Arcane Crest is your defensive ability. Use it to defend yourself. When the shield breaks, everyone around 15 yoms gets to trash heal over time for 15 seconds. You can use it to help healers with your trash healing potency. Arcane Circle is your raid buff, giving everyone in a 15 yom radius a 3% extra damage boost. When people use any weapon skill or spell while under the effect of Arcane Circle, you get a stack of this, which will make your Plentiful Harvest deal more damage. This ability will get your Inshroud gauge to 50, allowing you to Inshroud instantly. Inshroud will give you a whole new moveset that replaces Gibbet, Gallows, and Bloodstock into Lemur shit. After using your Lemur combo twice depicted by the blue and purple, Ball sacks, use communio when you have one last
last nut left. You got other shit like Soul Saw, which is a spell you use before getting into combat, or use it when the boss forces you into downtime. After using it, you get Harvest Moon, an AoE spell that is usually weaved into Bloodstock or Gluttony. I guess you got your AoEs too for dungeon content or when a boss has an ad phase, but who gives a shit? And that is all you need to know about Reaper. If you found better advice, then uh, fuck. The best part about playing Reaper is not having to worry about positionals as much, since Gibbet and Gallows are only available after using Bloodstock. Unlike other classes which have to worry about it while doing their rotations on repeat, Reapers can just keep smacking the boss's ass repeatedly till they are required to move. Fuck, I missed the position. So there will be times when you sit there and whisper to yourself, Positionals make melee DPS feel so fresh with a nice difficulty curve that it reminds me of how unique my job is compared to casters and physical ranged. Why the fuck are positionals in the game? They should be removed. They serve no purpose because I don't feel rewarded by it. What do I care about bonus potency damage because I stood on the right side of the boss? I just want to stand still, but if I do that, I lose DPS and I could get kicked out of the party. True North is your saving grace. Now, if I were to describe Reaper in a sentence, it would be... Holy shit. I feel incredible at a mediocre level. It's no surprise that Reaper feels good because of how little buttons you have to manage in a small space of time. Comparing it to its counterpart Dragoon, holy fuck! There are so many buttons to press at the same time when you're on that job. How do you handle it? I just do it, bro. I don't. I just cry about it on the inside. I feel that my very existence suffers at the hands of new content being added into the world of this game. And my time here will be short-lived. I may never even see the light of day because some of my buttons seem to be an absolute- Alright, that's enough cry. melancholy. But you know what? He's right. Some jobs feel so off that they don't feel as rewarding. Sometimes they don't even fit the meta. And other times I feel like I should switch to greatly improve my performance for the group. But you see, that is the beauty of this game. Whether it's a difficult job or an easy one. We all have a role to fill. Whether you deal the highest damage or the lowest damage, your numbers still count. And in the end of it all, so long as you're having fun, then that is all that matters. <laughs>